Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, some of you might know already, I recently participated in an episode of Wife Swap Australia. I always struggle to say that. That aired about a week ago now, and we had mixed reviews on it. Um, as with any reality TV show, they can't include the entire picture because obviously there is so much filming that's done and only a very short episode. So myself and my fellow Wife Swap mum Janine who I swapped with decided to do a little bit of a Q&A on this channel so I'm going to get into that in just a minute but uh, I just thought I'd put a quick disclaimer at the beginning of the video just to say that I apologize if the audio isn't great originally I filmed like a FaceTime call with Janine um, but the truth is Janine lives on a farm and they were having some works done on one of the reception towers that weekend so i was not getting a really great signal and the video was very choppy a lot was cut out luckily i'm used to having technical issues with youtube so i was filming with this camera filming my face and then i switched to filming with my phone when this card filled up so i have about half of the interview or just over half we answered uh, a series of questions that each of us answered, a series of questions that Janine answered, and a series of questions that I answered. So we've got all of the ones that we both answered, all of the ones that Janine answered, and then I'm actually gonna cut it off. I don't know, do a second part. If you're not in Australia or you haven't seen the episode, I'm gonna put some links down below if you wanna go and check it out or see the basic gist of how the episode went. Um, and if you're not interested, then don't watch. It's not a big problem. Anyway, it's a bit of a long video. You can really only see my face for it, given the circumstances. So if you were the kind of person that likes to, you know, listen to a podcast or put a video on and go around and do the housework or the farm work or whatever you like to do in your spare time, if you're driving, maybe it's more one that you might like to listen to as opposed to view because it's really just my face. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Hi. Hello. How are you going? Good, how are you? Good. All right. You ready? No, not really. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I feel super nervous. Do you? Yep. yep. You know what? I'm actually nervous too. And I was like, okay, you know, if we put it off till Sunday, then I've got a bit more time to sort of have a real good think about my answers. Me too, but I've just been procrastinating that too. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and like, I'm madly doing it. Like when you were like, okay, just yes. let me brush my hair. I was like, okay, let me look at the questions. <laughs> write those answers right now. Uh, Can you get that notepad that was in the office on the desk, please, that I did write some... Yeah. You did? It's, I wrote some notes while the boys oh, good. playing. Okay, and that's cool. Yeah. Awesome. We've written down the questions, obviously, um, I guess to give people who are viewing the video a bit of context, um, we went and asked uh, some questions online for people. There's some for both of us and then some directly for Janine, some directly for myself and we will go through and answer them and um yeah i mean i can ask you your questions you can ask me mine if that works yeah that's fine yeah i guess we'll get into the first one so janine what was your favorite part about the experience oh meeting you guys that was fantastic being able to go to your house and walk in your shoes a little bit um was was really uh, what I was looking forward to the most, and I really did enjoy it. Just seeing how someone else lives, it's great. Yeah, my favourite part of the show, it's, it's going to sound like I'm copying your answer, but it really was. I've got it written down in my notes here. It was getting to meet your family and um, live that experience and get to try try something new. Living on farm life was really, really cool, and getting to meet everybody. And um, it was a very immersive experience, I think, because as a mum, I don't know if you felt this, Janine, but like going into someone's house, you sort of feel like you have to really take on the mum role. And as a result of that, I was like, you know, like these children are my children and to, um, you know, have that much care for someone else's kids after meeting them like a day ago was really quite a magical experience, really. It was very, very cool. Yeah, yeah no, I really enjoyed that aspect. Yeah. Question two, what was your least favourite part? I think the initial cameras being in the house was really daunting. But just the initial risk of being on TV, that the, the unknown. Um, you know, you jump in and you say, oh, yeah, let's go and do wife swap and that's really cool, but you don't know how it's going to turn out. And that, yeah. that anxiety, not anxiety so much, but, you know, just not knowing how to show up. Yeah. And that was probably, yeah, that was the riskiest part. 
Yeah. I was I can I can agree with that, but also I found um like with the sheep herding and crotching, um not that I didn't want to learn and and try something new, but I found it so difficult because I just arrived and I think there wasn't enough time to explain how to do it. So, you know, when I was out there running in the field, I felt so, I felt like the most useless person. I really did because I just thought I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not just, um, not doing anything of any use. I'm actually making Gab's life harder now. And he was being such a good sport about it, but yeah, it was, that was a difficult pill to swallow for me to think that I've come into this person's house. I'm, you know, I'm making their job harder. If you live on a farm, you spend years learning how to do these things, but I just, I didn't, not, I didn't know. Not, hey? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would just feel guilty about that. Um, <laughs> that I hate that paddock. Do you? It has a creek through the middle of it, so it's a sheep field that it's necessary. They just jump it, go on the yes. other side. Movie sheep in that paddock. Because mm -hmm. a motorbike is really awful. No, you, you you did so well even getting fit. There's been many hats and first words used down there. It's not. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Because I had an issue with that creek where there was one sheet that just ran off and was on, on the other side. And Gav was like, can you go get that one? And I think I said to you the other day, I was looking at this sheep and I was like, you, get over there. Go that way. <laughs> I just didn't know. <laughs> yeah, no, don't feel bad about that. Oh, thank you. But it was it was a cool experience, and like genuinely, if I could go back and learn more about how to do it, I totally would. The next question, I guess, would be: um, Is there anything you wish that? Are you okay? <laughs> didn't include. I mean, you can look at it and self criticize all you want, and mm. um, and the producer said be our own works critic. Yeah, which was true, but no, not really. Maybe uh, the whole Gav haircut that really that kind of. I think lots of people have commented that that didn't fit the show. It didn't sort of make sense to anyone else. Yeah, yeah. It didn't have enough background. Yeah, yeah. I think. Look, I don't know if this was the show's intention. Um, I mean, because you know you've got to include some changes. But I think some viewers maybe read that as Ash is making him change the way he looks because Ash is so vain and wants him to look a certain way. And oh. that was, I mean, that's, they're, they're, they're some of the comments I've gotten about that as well. Oh. Um, uh, so just for the record, <laughs> I, the beard was my, my goal. <laughs> they asked if I could achieve anything doing this show, what would I achieve? And I said that that beard would be gone. That was all me. <laughs> and I did it almost weekly for our entire marriage, which is almost 20 years. Yeah. So beard was me. He chose to colour his hair himself. Yeah. He did. It's all on Gav. Yeah. Uh, you're you're off the hook, Ash. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, that was with, a bit you know, There's lots of things that the general public doesn't need to know about Gav. He used to have black hair once. Well, you <laughs> Um, but, I mean, he probably looked a lot like Max, would he? That's what I imagine Gav as a younger person. Yeah. Was he like yeah. that? Yeah, mirror image. Yeah. Big hair? Big hair. Big slash hair? Yeah, that's right. And but shaved side as you did in the early 90s. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the whole thing going on. <laughs> I love it. I love that. What was something you wouldn't have liked included? Um... <laughs> Obviously, the dancing, which I'll, I can touch on later because most of the negative feedback has been directed around Heidi's dancing. Um, and there was actually a scene with Tash, um, which I, I wish hadn't been included. It was when we were um, putting my rules in and Tash came out with the bucket and it was empty. And I don't like the way she was portrayed there. Um, what wasn't included was when I went into her room, Tasha, Tasha, for anyone who doesn't know, Tasha has the most organized room and she has this like awesome pin board of like, you know, goals and everything that she wanted to achieve and, you know, wanting to be a marine biologist and everything, which I just thought was so amazing. And so when she had to take this box into her room, there was not literally nothing that she had to get rid of because it was so neat. And, um... 
I think it came across like she was rebelling, but she absolutely wasn't. Like she, she just had a really neat room and that's why I was like, okay, yeah, cool. Let's get the guinea pigs outside. <laughs> um, and even then, um, you know, Tash loves having her guinea pigs inside and she knew that that was a point of, you know, difference for her and I, but she was really good about that too, about taking them outside. So, um, yeah, I wanted to clear that up. I think that was important. We, we enjoyed the... Uh... We enjoyed the empty bucket scene, actually. <laughs> that scene would be the word of choice in locally. <laughs> <laughs> but I did not see any sassy side of you, Tash. Like, I thought that she was just the loveliest girl. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, no, she she's a little bit determined. Yeah. Hey, we're women. We have to be. Exactly. That's right. She <laughs> has, but she's got to stand up. There's a little bit of those muscles. Yeah. What do, you, what do you wish that included? There was this scene, and I think it was a lighting thing that they didn't include it. Mm -hmm. When Louis went to make his bed, um, he didn't pick up dinner under the covers, so I picked up a cushion and chucked it at him, so he threw it back at <laughs> just turned into this massive pack that we got on video, and it was so cute and so funny, and um, and it was, I, was, I thought it was good. I love that. That is 100% Louis. I can definitely see him doing that. That is yourself. Same similar type, kind of thing for me. I've got I've got a couple, but so I'm going to try and go through them really quickly. Um, I needed to touch on Max because I went home raving about Max. Um, there was on the day where we were cleaning the house. Um, what people don't know is that Max vacuumed, and he was still vacuuming when the crew left. And I was like, Max, you can stop doing that now. And he's like, No, I'm not done. And um, at that point, I thought like what a cool person, you know, like he, I've come into his house, I've given him these rules that he may not understand or may not appreciate, but he still said, okay, you know, she's a guest in our home, this is what the rules are and I'm going to do them and I'm not going to complain about it. And not only did he do them, he, he really did them. I thought that was really cool and I wish that we would have been able to touch on, you know, that more in the show because he was really, really welcoming. There was one night after the camera people had gone where... I don't know if this is something they do all the time, but I hope it is. Um, Gav and all the kids, they were having like this air guitar rock concert in the living room. Oh, oh yeah. I've seen the photo of that. Have you? Oh, it was, I wish that I had filmed it and like made the producers put it in because I was just standing there like laughing, like it was so, so good and it was so good to see your family in that environment, just really enjoying each other's company and getting involved with something that you guys love. One of the more important ones was the conversation with Gab, which I really wanted to touch on um, with regards to him having to change his appearance because we were filmed in the car on the way to the makeover. And I said to Gab, you know, like my husband, James, he's got alopecia and um, I watched him lose all of his hair and that was really difficult for him and his um, sense of identity. So I don't want you to change the way you look if you don't want to. And that's when he actually told me about, you know, the hair that he used to have in his youth and how he used to dye it black and um, how he thought that, you know, if he could dye it black for the show, like it might make him, you know, it might bring him back to those times that he really enjoyed. And... Um, yeah, it was a really nice conversation and it gave a lot more insight into Gav as a person as well. So I wish they included that. So how have your thoughts and perspectives changed since taking part in the show? If so, how? Okay, this is a really good question. Do you want to go first? Um, I mean, if you want me to, I'm, I'm happy to. I, I guess, you know, I went back home after the experience and I felt like I had had a really cathartic experience. I'd pushed myself to new limits and I'd learned about another family and also about a whole other culture that I'd never really known much about before. Um, and that was, you know, that was really cool. It wasn't until a little bit later on in that year, um, so what year was that, 2019, I got really, really sick. And I think I said this to you the other day, Janine, but like it was only the flu, but I genuinely thought I was going to be, I was influenza B, I genuinely thought I was going to be that person, you hear about people who die every year, that was pretty much me, like I was on the floor, couldn't move for at least two weeks before I could even move. Um, and when I came out of that, I just had this whole new, like, I want to slow down. I want to, 
you know, time is fleeting. I want to be able to spend time with my kids. I want to be able to watch them play and not just be like, okay, go outside and play while mummy quickly gets this done. Um, I definitely did things with my kids before, don't get me wrong, and we definitely went outside and we were active, but to actually really truly stop and take in those moments. Also, not be scared to make mess in the house. I mean, I think now I clean a lot more, but I clean a lot more because I'm okay a lot more with making mess in the house. So we have been have been getting a lot more messy and doing a lot of craft and just being being more embracing more of that childhood, which I think I've definitely learned from you. Thinking of you as my savior when we were in lockdown during COVID. That was, you know, a good five weeks where I, I think I would have gone crazy if I didn't think, okay, so what would Janine do, <laughs> literally? So we would go on a walk every morning and we would go and pick up um, leaves and sticks and everything and then bring them back to the house and create um, like collages and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, that's the kind of things that Janine had talked about doing with her kids and I really treasure those memories. And I think that experience was something that my kids will now remember for the rest of their lives because yeah. we, we did those things. Yeah. yeah. yeah really matter, don't they? And Reuben and I were just talking about that on, on, uh, in the car this morning. Yeah. You, just, you don't remember the movie you watched one night or... It doesn't count. It's the yeah. small... It's the activities and the time spent together that really that really stays with you. And yeah. I know the bits I remember from my childhood. You know, when, when I went down and bought a hundred of the fruit seedlings and planted them and yeah. just the, the stuff. Yeah, yeah, totally. I actually, um, I saw a quote and I can't even remember who said it, um, but it was something about like, you know, if you want to feel free as an adult, spend more time doing the things that you loved doing as a kid. And like you, that, that made me think, yeah, like these are the things that I really loved doing as a kid. So yeah, you're, you're totally right. And they're the, hopefully the things that the kids remember when they grow up and then impart onto their own children. How about you? Was there, was, were there any thoughts and perspectives that may have changed? Yeah. So, yeah. um. So you brought technology to us, um, and I have. I still, I still hold true to my values that young children don't need it. Yeah. I see, damage would be too big a word, but yeah. I see the potential for addiction. Um, yeah. In the earlier they start on it, the earlier, uh, you know, the, the more, the more they get hooked, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm sticking with that. Yeah. Um, but as they grow up, I need to let them become adults and, and you know, it's, it's just part of school. When we were in the public school system and it's part of school. Yeah. And I didn't know that schools let the kids play Minecraft at school. So apparently my kids had learned gaming without my consent already. Yeah. And um, Minecraft has been uh, tagged as an uh, educational game. Yeah. Right, I've had a glimpse at it and I don't see where the education bit comes in, but they think it's fun and they never really know how to drive it. Max and Tash have their own phones now, so I, I, you know, because they're teenagers and they're out and I do want to be able to reach them when they're out and yep. it's a safe thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have that, they, the smart TV, which, that, oh, that bit was completely um, deleted. We're probably getting to that later when we talk about yep. the TV issue in the house, but the, I'll briefly touch on that a smart TV was gifted to us by you. Yeah. Um, no, and the boys love it. Well, all the kids do. They love it. They love it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> learning from it. And I yeah. have to stop being so critical, apparently, yeah. um, about everything. So they've learned, they can, like Eric's watched people build mountain bike tracks on yeah. YouTube. And now he can, he knows how to do that, where yeah. to dig the whole with the rocks and like there's lots of tutorial stuff on there that I didn't know. I didn't know you could rebuild the turbo on your Nissan Navara by watching a YouTube article. But yeah, look that up and then he went and give it. Like, really? That's, that's kind of cool. That's that very is, helpful. Yeah, yeah. There is there is a good side, not just an evil side to it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we've had it, but I wouldn't say it's taken over our life. It's, we um, I've just I've just let it be included in our life. Yeah. I am so the same about Minecraft. My kids are allowed to do Minecraft education at school. And I was like, 
Heidi, where is the math here? Like what, I don't understand. Someone who's a teacher actually told me that it teaches them 3D mold modeling. So yeah. that's, yeah, but my kids are obsessed with it and I'm honest, I'm so tired of hearing about Minecraft. Like I specifically <laughs> did not let my children have gaming consoles because I did not want to have this whole what? gaming thing. And somehow they've gotten to it. And I'm, I feel the same way about it. Trust me. Frustrating. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you regret doing it? You don't? I don't regret doing it. I don't regret the, no. No. I don't like this, um, this excessive criticism that's coming from it because yeah. it's unnecessary. Yeah. But do I regret doing the show? No. I got from it what I was looking for. I enjoyed the experience and I love meeting you guys. And yeah. The change has been positive and I think you would probably be similar. Yeah, so. I think, yeah, I, I, there's no way I would regret doing that at all, regardless of any comments that come my way. I think in the show, and I don't even remember saying this, um, in the show at one point I said if there was a bus, a one-way bus going straight out of here, I would take it. I'm not joking with you. If there was a one-way bus going into Godfrey's Creek right now, I would be on it. So... <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I loved it. I, I would do it again a thousand percent. Have any of the nasty opinions affected you or have you managed to um, managed to not focus on them? I have read some, yeah. but it's been overly critical. Yeah. I think it was, you know, they always do that good guy, bad guy scenario and mm -hmm. we got the good end. Yeah. I really just feel that it was rather one-sided mm -hmm. and painting you guys in a realistic light as a loving that you are. Mm -hmm. um, so, no, the, the criticism hasn't affected me at all, really. Yeah. I, I was bracing myself for it, but the kids tell me that I'm judgy anyway, so I don't get used to that. I don't even think you're judgy. Like, <laughs> I do. And you're telling me, you're saying, oh, I talk too much and everything. I did not even get that once. So I think maybe you're seeing it and you're being critical of yourself, but... I didn't get that at all, at all. And I don't think you're a judgy person at all, so. Very kind of you. Yeah, um, me. How I know your feedback's not being uh, pleasant and people no. should pull I think, like, because I'd done YouTube before, I was expecting comments. Um, and I think, um, yeah, I, I, I was prepared, but there was just a lot um, and like, I guess in a sense, I, I should have stayed off social media, but I didn't because I wanted to be able to respond to people, um, you know, respond to the, the positive feedback and I sort of saw the negative stuff there and in doing a bit of research from, you know, what people's most frequently asked questions were for, for this video, I found a lot of particularly nasty stuff and really, really obscene, far out accusations, comments about my parenting or about my daughter. I don't like to see that's taking things too far but ultimately it's just um it's you know uh, a reflection of just how ugly the internet can be sometimes too you know we you bought out of the show you learned that the internet could be a really a great place of information and everything but the other side is that it can be a really ugly toxic place and it's you know there's young people who are taking their lives every day because of the kinds of things that can be said to them online people need to calm down and people need to take the way they conduct themselves online very seriously i just always think if you wouldn't say it directly to someone's face it's not okay to say online either yeah yeah in my mind i'm like you know yep i my, i send my daughter to a lot of dancing classes a week but you know what i wouldn't do i would never attack somebody online ever but i'll be fine it just makes me sad for other people <laughs> okay um well the last question that um you know is for both of us to answer um, were you approached to do the show or did you have to apply? I applied. You applied? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was approached, but I think it was probably after you guys applied. Um, okay, Janine, questions for you. Are you ready? Okay, all right. Okay. The show is over the course of a week, but was it actually longer and how many hours a day also? Yeah, I reckon it went through a week and a half to two weeks. Yeah. And they filmed all day because they did sunrise. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, well, uh, so I'm talking about what I experienced with yeah. all the day and, um, and the kids had dinner and then we tapped up pretty much. So, and, so yeah, before breakfast till, till dinner time. Yeah. It was a full day, every day. If you could only tell people one thing about the show, what would that be? Um, that we had completely different ideals in mm. life yeah. but the same values. 
Yeah. And I think that's why we worked because I know the kids have said afterwards they just loved having you there because even though you did, you know, you did your tech and you did things that I didn't do, yeah. you, you were so easy to be around that you weren't that different to me in personality. Yeah. yeah. So if we carried the same values, we love our kids, we want the best for them, we want them to be busy, we just yeah. want them to be in different ways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. What a lovely answer. Thank you. If no tech in the farmhouse, I think, I don't like it when they call your house a farmhouse, but if, if no tech in the farmhouse, how do they know about the show? Oh, because we don't live in a, oh, no, I'm not going to be rude. We don't live in a barn. No. <laughs> so it was alluded to that we don't own a TV at all, but we do. We had, we had this beautiful, the old fat back analog TV. The box. Just, the box. We had that. That's what we had. We yeah. Had a box that was dying that we have for our business. And yes. we did Wi-Fi in the house. So we weren't, uh, we weren't essentially, I don't consider TV technology. That's how yeah. I knew about it. We have a television and we watch it. And we've yeah. always had a television. Everybody owns a television, don't they? Yeah. So we did watch, and I, I have been watching it while years, you know, in the middle of the night, breastfeeding yeah. babies. Yeah. I would watch them in one where the mums would get really cross with each other. And I found it very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to go on the show because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it, and um, yeah. and I used to say, "Oh, if ever comes to Australia, I'm so going on that." Yeah, and, and you yeah. did. That's crazy. So we've only got a TV in the lounge room, and you can close it off, and then the rest of the house is TV free. Um, I'd still say we're a fairly low technology family compared to anyone else. Yes, yes, I would agree with that. Where can you watch the show? Sorry, <laughs> I, don't, I can't remember where that question came from. <laughs> plus for the next 12 months yeah there you yeah. go on uh some i'm not sure what e4 i think i think it's called yeah the, i saw a comment about that in the uk e4 the uk now yep yeah and my brother's actually in the uk at the moment um he's still stuck there um and so he was desperate to watch it and I was like, oh, I've heard that you can watch it in the UK. Okay, I included this person's whole um, sentence with what they said because it um, gives a little bit of context. So I'll just read it out. Um, I found the ending a bit weird with Janine. For someone so against putting her family on the internet, she quickly accepted that you would put a video up seemingly without her permission on YouTube, which already had over 100,000 views. Um, I personally would be livid if someone did that without my permission and we embrace technology. Surely she already knew about the video before you showed her. So, good question and well worded. Yeah. Um, so, we and Gav and I had a chat about this one yesterday and how we would answer it. Yeah. So, the way it was displayed on the show was kind of edited backwards. When I was going, oh, gee, I don't know, I'm going to really have to think about that. I said that immediately after you, Ash, said um, you put it online. Yeah. It didn't really take me back. But this I didn't I didn't see it come so to short answer no mm. I wasn't for the show that or before the, our table meet that mm. that I had been made I knew nothing about it yeah. but Gav and he had given permit for it yeah there wasn't a hundred thousand viewers because it was put on a private channel mm -hmm. it, it had it had like two viewers mm. yeah so uh, and he said that to me, and obviously all of that's been edited out. But no, 100,000 people have never seen I have to accept other people's ideas. And the whole point of the show is that you're going to introduce new things to me and yeah. the way I... And so you built this really great channel, and you videoed it really well, and then I hadn't seen my kids for... I hadn't talked to them for a week. I desperately missed them. And then all of a sudden, there they are. It's lovely to see them. Yeah. And... Um, no, I guess I just had, before I shut it down and said, no, I'm not that kind of person. I'm going to watch it and then pick my opinion on what I see. I'm not just going to say no straight up because that's not me. Apparently I'm critical and judgy, but I am also open-minded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I found but, as a whole from your family. So open-minded, really. Oh, I don't like this next question at all, but I copied and pasted it. So I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Was Janine asked to be super critical? She seemed so judgy through the episode, but then like someone I could really get along with at the end. I can be judged. It's just in my name. You know, we, everyone has said, you were yourself on there. Okay. I can be critical. I'll admit that. But, um, you know, I have more friends than enemies. Yeah. 
I, I, I don't judge people intentionally or in a nasty way. Yeah. I'm, stuff pops out of my mouth. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. But hopefully, yeah. you're like... <laughs> I, sure did, we... I did not think you were judgy. I just don't get it. But, I mean, maybe because... Because I said your house was boring. I'm really sorry. It's really rude. You know what? I need to comment on something there. My house was slash is boring. We had not long moved into the house, so it wasn't furnished. And um, still... there's, there's still not a lot in there because I have been filming rooms as I do them and, you know taking the time to do it it just takes forever but yeah i agree I, it, it's boring so i'll back you on that one <laughs> and anyone who has anything else to say about it can talk to me <laughs> yeah i think you know that conversation that we all had the round table conversation correct me if i'm wrong but weren't we there for like five hours hours hours, hours. So there was, you know, that I feel like, I can't remember exactly, but I feel like obviously they can only include so much in the episode. So there had to be a lot that they were going to cut out. And there was a lot of us understanding each other and a lot of us getting along that the viewer didn't get to see. So I was sitting there thinking, wow, she is a very easygoing, lovely person to get along with, but they couldn't include all of that. So it very quickly went from your, you know, um, what could be called judgy um to us being like oh we love each other let's have big hugs and i think people got confused about that because they're like wait what just happened so the next question is uh, just wondering if her hubby grew his beard back oh here's one we prepared earlier oh my god hi Gabs. you got your beard back yeah. the, beard, the, beard, the beard never went really he didn't shave again oh really and that single shave was enough for a lifetime. Or even telly. Yeah, I know. But then, it's, yeah, it's back. Are you still doing your hair black? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the, yeah, everything's back. And these, these are, yeah, it's all back. Um, are you still dyeing your hair as well? Oh, I haven't dyed it again. You haven't dyed it again? Did you end up putting your piercings back in, Cab? Oh. No! Uh, piercings? Yeah. What piercings? <laughs> Did it... Years ago. Years ago. Years ago. So to give some context, that day, rem I don't know if you remember, Gav, you were like, if I have time to get my piercings done again, I will. You had all the earrings there. If you cut it off again, Gav, would you give it to Janine? Again? Oh, it depends on how long. Maybe if I leave it down here somewhere. Yeah. You can make... Then, then get the boys to knit a blanket with it. How yeah. special. I'm going to try with the phone. We could felt it into something. We could fix it. Stop. <laughs> Do you still have that, um, the beard, Janine? I don't know. I don't remember. I might... I did, we, it was here, but I don't know where it is now. No, no, we did have it. I still have my sheep bottom fluff that you gave me. <laughs> and I said I was not taking that home on the plane with me, but I kept yeah. it, so. Well done. <laughs> All right, should we jump on to the next question? It's a good one. Would you do it again? We do the it's show left, again. Dad. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I loved it. No, I, I, I was... it was a, and they, they asked us that at the end of the show. Um, and we, yeah, we found it a positive experience. We yeah. With, and there was no, no, there was nothing I, I regret from doing it. So absolutely, we'll do it again. Good. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video there. Again, it's very long. Again, there's a few things that I didn't get to touch on that were sort of points of misunderstandings in the episode that I'd really like to talk about, particularly with Heidi's dancing. Um, there were also a few questions that were asked online directly about Janine's life that originally when we recorded this, she did answer, which is questions around, you know, um, if her children do extracurricular activities, if they do jobs around the house, and if so, what what activities they do, how many jobs they do around the house, that kind of thing. Um, but just after a little bit of a security scare at the beginning of this week, Janine asked that I remove those questions. So I've gone ahead and done that. I want to make sure that she's absolutely comfortable with everything that we've put out online. And um, just to confirm with you guys, Janine will be viewing this whole video that I have edited just to sort of cut it down a little bit um, to approve it before it goes online. So anything that you see, it may look like I've edited it 
edited it, which I have, but I haven't, I've made very clear not to cut out anything that might compromise the integrity of her answers or make her answers look any different to what they actually were. So again, Janine will be approving this prior to go, it going live. Um, and then again, I will be doing a part two, so keep your eyes peeled for it. Um, it will be in the next couple of days. I just need to figure out whether I need to refilm some of it or if I can get away with using the stuff that I already have. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you've gotten to this point, thank you so much. And I will see you guys all soon. Bye.